R.I.P. by Philip MacDonald is my latest selection for Malcolm Noble talks about crime fiction classics. MacDonald was a British Army officer who became one of the most popular and most respected detective writers during the English Golden Age. He later had a very long career in America writing for film and television. R.I.P. by Philip MacDonald was published in 1931 and the modern reader may need some patience before accepting his style of writing. There's more than a hint of melodrama. His dialogue isn't of a voice that you would hear today, and the technique of using chapter headings as time intervals may seem trite, but it's of its period. And that's the point. It's as a period piece that this book is a crime fiction classic. This copy is a 1950s reprint, but its Art Deco style fits it perfectly. From page one, we are tipped into the English middle class of the 1930s. The last of the letters is delivered. Danger is very near, for the mysterious correspondence has a long score to settle. He is the self-appointed avenger of 700 men. MacDonald's work will offend every rule of the modern creative writing schools, and perhaps that's recommendation enough. But within the conventions of the Golden Age, he wrote good whodunit detective stories. I like the way that he varies the pace and cleverly introduces characters at the right time and, very gently, pokes fun at his world. For people who like traditional whodunit detective stories, MacDonald wrote several satisfying books. His name is most readily associated with The Rasp, his first book. But his writing went much further than this. But this week I've chosen R.I.P. by Philip MacDonald as my crime fiction classic. Thank you very much for listening. Please do leave a comment if you wish. I'll be writing more about MacDonald on my crime fiction blog. I hope you'll take time to have a look at it. And catch me again next week for another selection of a crime fiction classic. Bye.